Welcome to the Breakdown Podcast. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT. Nah, and I'm like the explosive one. Let's crack into another one. TNT. Yo. Uh, so we've had a couple episodes where we started talking about DEI. Diversity, of equity, and inclusion. Yeah, 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 yeah. And, you know, like, it became really popular probably around the time that George Floyd all happened. That, like, companies were, like, all of a sudden really picking up steam on di- diversity, equity, inclusion. That's, like, when yeah. everyone was, like, we need to be more aware. We need, and they quote, unquote, they call it, need to be more woke about, like, society. <laughs> and, it, and it has, like, really kind of, like... A lot of companies have taken that on, right? They started like embracing alternative cultures and things like that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So then we have other companies like Bud Light. They try to go out. They get a they get a trans uh, online personality to talk about their their beverages, and their customer base was not in line with those beliefs. And <laughs> and the conservative people who drank their beer revolted stop buying it sales drop kid rock sh- shooting 12 packs with a shotgun yeah, writing songs writing songs and so, nobody's drinking anheuser bush yeah so and i was like man that's a really weird occurrence that that would happen like i i was kind of shocked that customers you? a little bit okay so i heard today tractor supply company uh, have you ever heard of that store? There used to be one in Ashtabula. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm familiar. Okay. They I never have... went in it. No, I mean, Because, like, I why? I don't... Yeah. I get my ivermectin from so a guy I know. I'm gonna... I'm gonna read this. American retailer Tractor Supply Company has eliminated its diversity, equity, and inclusion roles and goals following weeks of conservative criticism online. We have heard from our customers that we have disappointed them, read the statement. We have taken this feedback to heart. The company also announced other changes it would make, including no longer submitting data to the LGBTQ advocacy group, human rights campaign, focusing on, quote, rural American priorities, including education, veterans causes, and no longer sponsoring, quote, non-business activities like pride festivals and voting campaigns, end quote. Okay. Uh, so yeah, I'm so sorry, they were like, I, mm, I'm kind of not mad at that, honestly. Really? Yeah. It sounds to me is that they didn't want to get Bud Lighted. Okay, so here's the thing: is that we've we we've all made the ideal is that diversity, equity, and inclusion is something that we we need in this country. A lot of people at home feel like it's not something we need, but if you go to the the DEI episode that we did. We came to the conclusion that the the alternative to not having acceptance is what is that anti tolerance? What do you call that? Is, uh, yeah, yeah, is, uh, intolerance, is intolerance, or killing people in these na- and they're, and we're not going to be killing Americans just because they de- of how they decide to live their life or who they're born as or what they or, or what color their skin are or you know what country or what god we're not going to do that. They're Americans, so. Americans have rights, all right? Right, right, yeah, exactly. So DEI is necessary. You know, you can change the name of it to something else, but it is a necessary I mean, yeah, I mean, it's been forever. I mean, equal rights. Yeah, so 100%, we have these companies who always F it up. We have companies who always F it up. Uh, Mr. X brought it up when he was here. So I think it's that company, but okay, but on the same note, companies is hard how you appeal to mass mass oh. amounts of people because people have brand recognition over a lot of things mm-hmm. like you know what kind of toilet paper you like you know what kind of paper towel you know what kind of juice you're going to drink you know what kind of gas you're going to put in your car so if your gas your drink aligns themselves with a certain thing then yes you don't want to be associated with that if it doesn't align with your values so should the companies just get out of the social issues and stick to things like education to stick to things like you know uh, a, a strong nuclear family there's nothing wrong oh, with that well see the well the problem that i have with it is that corporate dei is inauthentic as hell they that's, do that's, it because they it, get a look, it quote unquote looks good for them and they will drop it as quick as they started it if it doesn't work for the right thing it was like when all that stuff started picking steam up it was being shoved in your face from every corporation all of a sudden. And you're like, why the hell does Coke all of a sudden care about LGBTQ? And then slowly over time, less and less and less and less. And that 
is disgusting. I think if you embrace it, embrace it. If you don't, don't. But don't ride the goddamn wave in the middle trying to love, make both sides happy. That's facts. Yeah. That's preach very, what you like. Yeah. Preach what you don't. Get the customers that you get. Yeah. Standing behind something should not be influenced by your profit margins. Right. And that's what it is. And that and that's what makes me... Uh, disgusted because it is it's like oh we're gonna be pro lgbtq and then like oh now they're like oh my god we might lose some customers because they don't like us donating to pride parades oh god we hate them let's just focus uh, on rural america they and didn't say traffic. they hate them they didn't say they hate them to me what i got from that statement is we're getting out of this social this social uh the social commentary bullshit that's what it sounded like to me we're gonna stick to things that are more just like blanket <laughs> things that can like you know it's still like wholesome like values but it doesn't it's not necessarily in the in the social commentary issue because the social commentary is what everybody gets hooked up on man and honestly when it comes down to it you're never going to beat that you're never going to beat our our trans women women you're not going to beat that man these people want to live their lives just let them do what they want to just let i won't say let them do what they want to do but let them live the way they choose and live your life the way you decide to live yours you know but on the same note we can't necessarily preach hate because if we preach hate then you're going to just raise a murderer well here's do what you want to raise a murderer do you want to ra be a murderer do you want to be well, no, associated like with murderers who grow up around a bunch of like people who are in the clan and like they think like this that and the other my Minorities are this, and then they like get out of that and go back and be like, "Oh wow, everybody's kind of the same." And you're like, "Yeah, yeah, <laughs> like yeah." yeah. Like, you're in that echo chamber of like these people are bad, just cause. Yeah, and that's exactly my, my point, Jonas. You know, on the last episode of this, or yesterday, you brought up like, like this is why men can't get into a certain field, like dealing with children. But it's like certain bad actors cannot necessarily like men are not a monolith. Trans people are not a monolith. Gay people aren't a monolith. Black people aren't a monolith. So if you meet one that treats you poorly, brother, believe me, there's one out there that's going to treat you well. There's one out there that you could be best friends I mean, with. Well, but the sad part is people do that with everything. People do that with like women or men that they're dating. They're like they had two or three girls treat them wrong. And they're like, every woman is X or two or three men treat them wrong. Every man is X. Yeah. I it, mean, but it, like, seriously, if we if we go by that logic, there's no way I should trust anybody. I mean, because all white men are serial killers. <laughs> <laughs> all black men want you to buy their DV, their CDs. <laughs> wow. Their C Does that happen? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> He's like, I was oh, trying to think of one for Spanish people, but I don't want to be offensive. <laughs> <laughs> you can say whatever you want. I can't say that's, anything. That's true. I, yeah. get, I get a pass. I yeah. get a pass. Yeah, so. But no, man. Like, I mean. <laughs> I it, get it's, a pass it's for like, most of it. I hate. Because, like, you know what I mean? Like, I, I think everyone should live their life however they want. So, like, it, it makes me feel some sort of way that they're not going to support those causes anymore. I feel like this is exactly what you're asking for. You're saying is that companies always fuck it up. They're not doing it for the best reason. It's disingenuous. And that's so my for, point. For this company to be like, I'm getting out of it. This is what they're you They're like, want. look, we don't support gay people and we want to support, we want our rural customers. <sighs> is saying, is saying is that we are no longer going to, uh, uh sponsor a gay pride parade saying that we don't we're support focusing gay on people. rural america priorities and no longer sponsoring non-business activities like pride festivals and voting campaigns okay Try, trying to tell me that's not anti-gay yes that's what i'm saying is yes so if you don't support Anti something you're not against it yes that's right because i no. what you're saying is that i either support something or i'm against it that's if you insane. were current if you were previously supporting something and you withdraw your support that says that you would if they would have been fucking neutral the whole time it wouldn't have made a difference they were supporting it now they're saying oh, they're not Yeah, because they were supporting it because of <laughs> bullshit Whose fault is that? Now they look like now they look bad. <laughs> they look like they're they're looking all like they're their gay farmers back. are not buying tractors anymore. And I'll admit is that it does look like they're taking it back. But on the same note, we knew from the beginning they weren't doing it for anything other than to see how it would move the how it would move the money around. Well, right. It's like it's like if you meet someone and they're like, "Oh yeah, I love going to the bar. I love going to the beach." And then you date them for six months and they're like, "I hate the sand." And you're like, "The fuck? Why were you lying to me?" That's how I feel about Tractor Supply Company right now. 
I just find it very difficult to say is that if you do not support something, it does not mean that you are against it. Well, right? I, I have never voted a day in my life. That does not mean that I'm anti-democracy. But if you it were does out- not mean that I mm. lean to one side or the <laughs> other. But if you were out here on every episode talking about how wonderful a certain politician was, and then all of a sudden one day you're all like, nah, I don't support them no more. Yeah. Well, you'd say that doesn't mean you're against them now. I would feel like I am allowed to make changes, but if I is if, if I don't say that I'm against the person, then I'm not against. It just the looks person. bad. It's a bad look. I mean, it, it makes you look like you a flip flopper. I mean, it it kind of. I mean, nobody has a doubt that Tractor Supply Company was against the gays. Like nobody did. Everyone's like, oh, they're they're supporting gay pride parades. That ain't authentic. If I had an endorsement deal from Coca Cola. And every episode, I'm out here like, mm, I love but this. But the gay pride I love people this, ain't paying I love this refreshing Coca-Cola that's drink a paid, beverage. That's paid advertising. I they feel, ain't. when, what do you think that they were trying to do when they decided to uh, sponsor these pride They're parades? not getting paid They were by advertising. The, they're not getting paid by the gay yeah, pride Yeah, they parade. paid for the advertising, though. But, it's still advertising. But it's the exact opposite of what you were just talking about. You were talking about Coke giving you money to talk about Coke. They're giving money. To, you aren't giving money to Coke to talk about Coke. People pay millions of dollars to advertise uh, their commercials during the Super Bowl. Oh, yeah. They're so advertising have, to the gay community. What we have to understand is that advertising supersedes money because you know, it brings ooh, in more money. But you know so what? you get your tractor ooh, supply company it. insignia at a gay pride parade and you get a bunch of fairies coming in to buy your tractor wow. stuff. Wow, that's a little... What, I'm an ally! I'm allowed! No, 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 You know what's even worse than withdrawing your support? Giving support under the guise of advertising. Yes! So, if we're going to prosecute them for anything, let's prosecute them for being a typical business and putting a bunch of black people and gay people in the commercial to try to appeal and, and, and get their numbers running up. But I'm not going to sit up here and be like tractor supply company now hates gays because they decided that, oh, this business model is not the best. That's I insane. Mean, because if they ever decided to support them, then that tells you what, how they really feel about it is that they're like, Hey, look, we're cool with it. As long as it's profitable. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. That's all time for everybody's episode. <laughs> Go to crazytown.com and subscribe for Jonas. Oh, yeah.